Good morning, and thank you, Father Peter, for allowing us to speak today. As you stated, my name is Sean Berner, and I'm one of the adult leaders of the Orthodox Youth Mission Team, or OYMT. Uh, for those of you that don't know, OYMT was actually formed fairly locally at Holy Trinity Orthodox Church in Danbury by Father Luke Mahali just over a decade ago. His mission was to engage the youth of the Orthodox Church and have them demonstrate their faith actually outside the four walls of the church. He also believes strongly that it's simply not enough just to go outside and do charitable work, but more importantly, to develop relationships with those who we do the work for. This led OYNT to partner with the Appalachian Service Project, or which I'm sure you've all heard of as ASP. It's an organization that has been refer referred to as a relationship ministry with a little bit of construction on the side. Each year, we train about once per month, beginning in January, to get ready for the summer trip uh, to one of five different Appalachian states. Trainings not always also include information about construction and using tools, but more importantly, they also include sensitivity training about the surroundings that you will be in. Once at our destination, all be put into teams of about six or seven people and go out each day and make home repairs. After returning to the center that we all stay at, the kids enjoy engaging with other Orthodox youth, learning about the culture of the area that we're in, and having pictures, um, picnics with the, the homeowners. We invite them to the center and have a wonderful dinner with them. Um, so again, building those strong relationships to the people that we are serving. It's truly an amazing experience. This past year, I don't know if I, he's here today, but I want to thank um, Tony Delos. He had joined us for the first time last year, so if anybody sees him, you can ask him about his first time experience. And as always, in addition to the youth, we are always looking for adult leaders as well. So if you're inter interested, you can speak to me or Tony about that too. Uh, the 2024 trip will be this year from July 20th to 28th. Uh, the youth who do wish to join us need to have completed eighth grade by June. Um, we are looking for commitments by November, um, so time is short. So please see me or um, one of the people that have gone in the past so that at least we can reach out and contact you about the information to get signed up. Uh, a couple of up upcoming events. First, next week is our annual Walk for Missions here at St. Barbara. So if you're able, please join us after the liturgy as the money raised helps support our mission work. And second, um, for those of you who do want a small taste of what a day at ASP looks like, please join us on November 5th in Stratford from 1 to 6 as we work on the home of a parishioner from Bridgeport. And if you look in the bulletins today, there is information regarding that. Um, and lastly, for you teens who think you might be interested but might be a bit scared or unsure, rather than some old man like me up here telling you it's so great, I'm going to turn it over to these wonderful boys here to tell you about their experience in going to ASP. So thank you so much uh, for your time, and I will turn it over to Zach and Gabe. Good morning. For those of you who don't know, my name is Zach Berner, the son of this great man who just spoke before me and that woman recording right there. Start off ASP is an awesome experience. I actually have gone on the trip twice now, and every time I grow, every time I go, I'm able to grow my connection with God. ASP is a perfect way to put your faith to work, helping others who are in need and really building a relationship with them. This showed me what the whole journey is about, not just going to get community service hours, which it does help with but really to go and make an impact on someone's life. For example, on the trip, my group built a small back porch for our homeowner. On the last day when we finished, she came out to take a look with her young child and had her walk on it. Right away, by her smile, we were able to tell how much of an impact we made on her life, um, even if it was just this little task, such as a porch. This leads me into some of my key takeaways from the trip. One, I was able to grow my connection with God by putting my faith to work. Also, I learned that we should be grateful for the little things in life because our little things can be other people's big things. I will always remember these trips and the memories that came with them, even the devotionals, which uh, Gabe will get into in a bit. If any adult or youth is interested, please feel free to come up to me or anyone else up here, and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you, and I'd like to welcome up my friend, Gabe Lawrence. Uh, good morning. As you just heard, my name is Gabe Lawrence. Um, you might have heard me read the epistle before. Um, I went on my first ASP trip th this past year, and it was an experience that will last a lifetime. There were many things that I found out about myself and about my connection to God that I did not know about before. 
One of those things that really brought me closer to God uh, throughout the week was the connection that my group and I had with the homeowners. Over the course of the week, the bond between us and the homeowners grew exponentially to the point where during lunch we would eat and talk with them. Another thing that brought my bonds with God and other people who were doing ASP were the morning devotionals, which are spiritual activities that tie to scripture and faith. I led one of the morning devotionals, and what I did was a scripture-based family feud. Um, I'll conclude my speech with a family feud question for you all if you would like to answer, try and answer the question. We asked Father Luke, what are the main takeaways from doing ASP? If anyone would like to answer. Theo, would you like to answer? Um, okay. Uh, so um, the number one answer was building your connection with God and your faith. The number two answer is building relationships with your family. Number three is building friendship friendships within the ASP group. And number four is construction. Um, well, thank you all for your time. I hope this little activity um, was fun and gave a little sneak peek into what ASP is like and why it is important. Like these two great people said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask away.